When Neo was freed from the Matrix the second time, he was taken to the human city. Nebuchadnezzar, this is Zion Control. Maintain present velocity and stand by. No, not Zion. A new city named Io. A place of peace and harmony between machines and humans, run by General Niobe. So what happened to Zion? Was it destroyed? In this video, we will be talking about the end of Zion. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Let's first recap what was Zion's situation at the end of Matrix Revolutions. The Architect revealed to Neo that Zion was a city created to control the awakened humans. Zion was created five times before, with the help of the previous ones. Each city was destroyed at the end of its cycle. Neo tried to prevent this fate for the current Zion when he reached Machine City. Thanks to the truce, Neo was able to stop the machines from destroying Zion. He also reached an agreement with the robots to let anyone who wanted out of the Matrix to leave. Everyone in Zion was surprised when the machines stopped their attack and left the city. A glance from a bewildered Morpheus and a hopeful Niobe was the last we saw of the city. In Matrix 4, when Neo was to go to the human city, he thought they were going to Zion. But to his surprise, he was transported to another city called Io. There, Neo reunites with an elderly Niobe. She takes Neo on a tour and shows him the green room or garden. They were growing food. Niobe told Neo that this could never have been achieved in Zion. She explains what became of the old human city. Zion was stuck in the past, stuck in war, stuck in the matrix of its own. They believed that it had to be us or them. This city was built by us and them, referring to the union of sentience and humans. After the truce happened, sentience approached Zion to make peace. But the leaders of the city refused, apparently. They were still at war with the machines. Niobe said that every day she expected them to be attacked. But that attack never happened. The humans in Zion never believed the effectiveness of the truce. Well, not all the humans. Morpheus believed that what Neo had achieved ensured the survival of all humans. He did not believe anyone who said otherwise. Including the Oracle, Neo asked Niobe what happened to Zion. Niobe told him that a war between the machines happened. A rise of a new power had come. Zion gave Morpheus the position of High Chair of the Council. Morpheus didn't believe in the Oracle's warnings of the coming threat. Later, Neo asks Niobe to help him save Trinity, but he doesn't get the answer he hoped for. Niobe says, Even if it means endangering everyone in this city, I'm sorry, Neo. I won't let what happened to Zion happen to Io. Her answer could mean that Morpheus or any other red pill tried to do something against the machines and endangered Zion and or the truce. But here there is something that is very important that many people are not noticing, and that is that Niobe never said that Zion was destroyed, nor that Morpheus is dead, though he could be based on the statue made in his honor. He would be close to 100 years old if he were alive. But there is a known rule within movies and television, and that is that if something is not shown on screen, then it is not confirmed. We do not have to trust Niobe's explanation about what happened. So then was Zion destroyed? And the survivors created Io by uniting with the sentience? Was there a civil war within Zion? The latter question begs conversation, because according to what Niobe said, the advances in Io could not have happened in Zion. Her tone when mentioning Zion sounds of contempt. Maybe Niobe was part of a rebellion, and she left with several people to build their own city far away from Zion and the machines. Who knows? Zion might still be searching for Neo and are fighting the Matrix. The fact that Niobe does not explain in depth what happened to Zion and Morpheus leaves the doors open for this to be explored in future content. And speaking of future content, this can be one of the tales that will be in the upcoming Animatrix 2.0. What do I mean? Well, despite the gross misconception around the internet that Matrix Resurrections is the last we'll ever see of the Matrix franchise, it is confirmed that John Guetta is working on a new Matrix project, and a Matrix 2.0. The project is listed on his LinkedIn page. Here's a screenshot courtesy of the Matrix subreddit. John Guetta's Wikipedia page also says, 2020 to 2021, John Guetta created the new development hub Galato focused on incubating a 21st century approach to the Matrix within emerging new media formats. IMDB has a page for the Animatrix continuation, but there is no information on it. 
or at least no free information. So we had to activate a professional account to see if there's any info about this project. And lo and behold, there is indeed a description. It says, Animatrix O for origin evolves the future history revealed with the second renaissance, Animatrix, and the history program, The Matrix. The producer of this project is John Guetta, who worked on the special effects of The Matrix. And one of the writers is Jordan Goldberg, known for his work on Inception and Westworld. If Origin follows the same format as the first Animatrix, then this will be an anthology. It would be interesting to see the events of the Machine Civil War, also the fall of Zion, and the creation of Io. Perhaps it could explain what happened to Morpheus and fill in the 60-year gap between Matrix Revolutions and Resurrections. And we cannot wait to analyze and discuss the Animatrix origin in depth soon. Things are looking up for us in 2022. But do you agree? Would you like an Animatrix episode that explains what happened to Zion after Neo's sacrifice? Is an Niobe lying and Zion still exists? The place where you live is not the place you once dreamed of? Are you sick of your hot and filthy Zion apartment? Then we have the solution for you. Bad credit or criminal history? We can wipe your slate clean and give you a fresh start. We at Mega City Realty can find you the most luxurious real estate where you can spend hours playing your favorite virtual reality video game, eating the most delicious meals and having an endless supply of blue medications. What are the blue pills for? No need to worry because you will be bathing in the most phenomenal bathtub with the best view of the city and only minutes away from the best cafeteria in the city. Why wait? Contact one of our agents and be reconnected to the home of your dreams. Mega City Realty. Offer valid while the truce lasts. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.